it's coffee time. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for Saturday because do you guys remember when we had our first anime pajama party? Because it was magical. There were so many people there. Everybody came in their PJs. Well, not everybody. I have to admit, some people were party poopers and did not show up in their PJs, but I did. Most of us showed up in our PJs and just like, I don't even know what, what word, what verb I was looking for there just now, but everybody was just like laying around watching Kuroko, the entire series of Kuroko so far, and it was awesome. So for Aaron's birthday this year, uh, we are all going to get together again and watch maybe Persona 4? I don't know. That's the one that I threw into the ring, but there are a lot of other ones that are possibilities right now, so it might not wind up being Persona 4. I don't understand that. Can somebody shed light on what the point is to driving down the street just like it's one long continuous horn honk that goes literally entirely down a street? Is it just road rage? What causes you to feel like that is a good response to anything? Because, you know, like you think somebody's going to run into you, right? So you honk and they realize that they're about to run into you. You get around them and you move on with your day. You don't just honk as you're like going around them and as you go down entirely to the next stoplight that makes no sense and it's obnoxious to everybody else if any of you do that stop it it's silly it's silly and it's a waste of horn power those are my feelings horn power sounds like some sort of unicorn ability what if cars were unicorns let's discuss this what if cars were unicorns and the horn honking was actually just, you just like, you just smack the horn and then rainbows pop out and then everybody sees the rainbow and they're like, oh no. Rather than alerting somebody to the situation through loud noise, you alert people to situations through rainbows. And maybe the rainbow always goes toward, because they're magical, right? The rainbow from the unicorn horn always goes toward whatever people need to be looking at. So you just follow the rainbow. You go, oh, there's an accident there. And then you trot around it, right? That would be the perfect world, but instead we have very loud cars. <laughs> I guess I guess it's all okay. You know what? We don't have to use horses and buggies and and whatever else. By the way, I went on a spree. I bought so much candy today. I love good and planties though. I was watching, oh my gosh, guys. While I was working, I watched the movie Super. And no, I do not recommend it. It was the most, like, it was not the most disturbing movie, but it was, like, slightly disturbing. Like, at the end, I, I had this weird, empty feeling, like, what was, huh? It's just so strange, that movie. And, uh, you know, it just, it goes to show you that when you're on Netflix, you should always read the list of genres after this movie is, colon, because Netflix always does that. They're like, this movie is funny. Or this movie is family friendly. This movie said, um, this movie is dark, violent, and what was it? It was dark, violent, and dark humor. I think it said dark twice. And I was like, okay. Did not read that before I watched the movie. I was like, oh, this one has four and a half stars. And it's about, it's about normal people who want to be superheroes, which is one of my favorite genres. So I watched Super. And at the end, I was like, that was not what I wanted at all. So then I had to watch Silver Spoon, which, oh no, I had to watch Silver Spoon. Silver Spoon's great. But, you know, I, I hadn't originally intended on watching another thing. So, uh, but guys, Super. Super is a strange, strange movie. But what can you do? Um, I was on a shoot all day today, which makes me sad again, because I know I brought it up for like the last three coffee times, but guess what? I'm, I'm just so sad. Like, why won't you go away? I finally popped it today. We had that milestone. I was so jazzed. So many things came out of it. I was like, yes, you're going to finally go away, or at least you're going to shrink, right? No, it's just maintained size and color. And that makes me so sad because you guys are going to know, like, all these videos are going to come out and you're going to be like, oh, these were all the videos that were filmed when Dodger had that giant chin zit, that giant nameless chin zit just show up and ruin 
every possible video. <laughs> but on the plus side, I am reading the teleprompter like never before. I don't know if this is going to be a, a spoiler for some of you, but I use a teleprompter on Daily Bite. I do not memorize all of that stuff. But, uh, I mean, for, okay, I should specify for my news show that I do on my channel, I, um, I, I don't memorize it. I just read the articles and then I just, bleh, just like blurt out all of my feelings, right? I don't write anything down. I don't even outline it anymore. Um, which makes it so funny to do the Polaris Daily Bite show because it's literally the only thing that I have to memorize because the teleprompter like ruins the shot so we can't use it is the, the whole intro. So like the bubbity bubbity bups, bubbity bubbity bups, bubbity bubbity bups, and today is comic book day. Like that whole thing, I memorize all of that. But everything else is, um, is just teleprompter. And teleprompters are dope, can I just say. Like, I never thought that I would wind up in a profession where I had to read a teleprompter every day. That never even once occurred to me. But teleprompters are just awesome. Unless you're having one of those days, and I have tried to explain this to the guys that the guys that are on crew for that. I've tried to explain this to them so many times. But there are some mornings where I'm just so like everything feels clogged up. <laughs> and I go in there and I try to read the teleprompter, but my ears constantly feel like they're just like they need to be popped, but they can't pop. And so I'm hearing myself in my in my like nasally head voice and I I can't get like a clear idea of what I sound like so I just restart over and over and over and over again there are some mornings there are some mornings when it took us like a couple of hours to shoot that show and it should not it should not take that long that's entirely my bad because everybody else is doing great but what are you doing hey Brett hey Brett what you doing you playing with a companion cube? You playing with my shoes? Remember when I was like, lol, here's a story about Sherlock being scared of a thing in the kitchen when he was scared of the um, the ceiling fan. So now, Sherlock, my, my, my big, black, beautiful cat, who's so manly and so handsome, he just, he's scared of something in... The bathroom now that I cannot figure out. So like I give them their food and she comes running. She's so excited for the food and Sherlock will come to the edge and just stare at the bathroom and he won't come into the kitchen because you have to go by the bathroom to get into the kitchen. He'll just stare into the bathroom and I cannot figure out for the life of me what it is that is freaking him out so bad. I've moved everything around in there. I'm just like Honey, why are you so skittish? You get spooked so easily, and I don't understand it. Oh my gosh, wait, this is really cute. Hey, you using that? Hey, you using that little cat tree that I bought? I'm so glad you're using that. Please continue to use it so that it is not money down the drainola. I was thinking about things that my mom says all the time. My mom likes to put Ola at the end of things, like drain Ola. And it always reminds me of her. And I'm like, hee hee hee, it's like something my mom would say. <laughs> I like things like that that remind me of my parents. I get to see them very soon for the wedding. I'm so excited. Not my wedding. New viewers, I'm not getting married. <laughs> there we go. Clean slate. Um, but I am part of a wedding party which is awesome. So um, I'm going to be going home and figuring that out soon. But, uh, yeah. Hey, what's she doing? You're so cute. She's getting bigger. I'm convinced. Like, it's always hard to tell when you have an animal in your house. It's really, really hard to tell whether or not it's getting bigger. But, like, when I look at her, I'm, I'm positive. I'm like positive that she's gotten bigger. She's definitely gotten stronger. She can get up on the couch. She can get up on the bed and one jump. She doesn't even have to pull herself up anymore. She's definitely a bigger cat. Um, but like, it's hard for me to tell because I've been around her so much. I'm just like, oh, you're still just like any beauty girl. But I know she was smaller when I got her. 
Oh, she's just so precious. She's getting more and more like orangey yellow too. Wait, let me grab her. I want to show you guys because it's really, it's really cool. I'm excited. Come here. Hey, come here, silly. I want to show you to everybody. I don't know if you can tell, but she's got like, she's got lots of orange in her face and there's orange showing up on her back and obviously her whole tail is orange. So I'm like, oh my gosh, you might turn out to be like one of those really pretty orange and white Siamese kitties, huh? Hey, don't drink my coffee. That's weird. That's not for you. Oh, she's so cute though. Look at that. Look at that little girl. Mwah. She doesn't know, obviously, because like she's a new addition and she's a kitten. But she doesn't know like all of the sounds that Sherlock knows, which makes it very funny to interact with them. Because I'll do things like, hey, where are you going? I'll do things like make the the come here noise, and Sherlock knows it, but she just keeps doing whatever she wants to do. And I'm like, oh, please learn this from Sherlock. That would make it so convenient if you both knew, huh? If you both knew that sound, it would make it so convenient for me. I mean, it's so convenient for me. I'm going to try to get her used to having her nails clipped at an early age because Sherlock hates it. Oh, you want to get away? Oh, you want to get away? Oh, purr box. Here. Here, go for it. Run off into the distance. Um, What was I trying to say? I can't remember. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I just wish that they both knew the same commands because it would make it a lot easier. But but she might learn it eventually. And I can try to, like, make... There are a couple, a couple mistakes that I made while I was raising Sherlock, even though he was a year old already. But, like, things like establishing what's okay and what's not okay. There are some things that I let slip because I was like, oh, it's really cute. But now I'm like, I really wish that I had taught you not to do that because now it's really hard to get him out of the habit. So I'm trying to like keep her from getting into those bad habits, but it's awful. It's like so hard. But, oh no. Anywho, um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try. I know that I said on Twitter that I wouldn't make a news video today. Um, but since I'm, since I'm home, it's nine o'clock now, since I'm home, I might have enough time to make one. If not, I'll, I'll put it up tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, I hope that you guys had an amazing day and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.